Now let us discuss question number 19 from chapter 14 exercise 14.4 show that the line segments joining the midpoints of opposite sides of a quadrilateral bisect each other. Now moving on to solution. Let us consider a quadrilateral ABCD as shown in figure. Let E F G H be the midpoints of sides a, B, B, C, C, D and D, A respectively. Then we are asked to prove that G, E and F, H bisect each other. Let us join all the sides that is E, F, F, G, G, H and H, E. Then it forms an another quadrilateral E, F, G, H. Therefore, by joining EFGH, we get EFGH as a quadrilateral. Now, the lines joining E and G and F and H will be the diagonals of EFGH. So, we need to prove that FH and G bisect each other. Now in order to prove that, let us join AC the diagonal. If we join AC diagonal and consider and consider triangle DAC. In triangle DAC, H is the midpoint of AD and G is the midpoint of DC. Therefore, by midpoint theorem, we can say that GH is parallel to AC and also GH will be equal to half AC. Let this be as equation number 1. Now, let us consider triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, E is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of BC. Therefore, by midpoint theorem, we can say that EF will be equal to half times AC and EF will be also parallel to AC. So let us assume that this is as equation number 2. So from equation 1 and 2, we can say that EF will be equal to GH which is equal to half AC and also as EF is parallel to AC and GH is parallel to AC, we can say that EF is parallel to GH. So, in this quadrilateral EF GH, we got that one of the side, one of the sides pair is equal and parallel. Therefore, the quadrilateral in which one pair of sides are parallel or equal forms a parallelogram. Therefore, here we can say that EFGH is a parallelogram. Now, from the properties of parallelogram, we can say that in any parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. Therefore, here GE and HF are the diagonals of parallelogram EFGH. Therefore, we can say that EG and FH bisect each other. This is what the required proof for us.